Good morning. What's up, Kansas City? Today we have a very impressive guest. We're right here in the historic Lincoln Building in Kansas City, Missouri on 18th and Vine, and we have Mr. Jason Parson. Good, good morning, Mr. Parson. How are you doing? Doing well, thank you. Doing well. Yourself. You're doing well. That's good. How was your weekend? It was long. It was long. It was long. Yes. But, uh, but, you know, it was good, but it long weekend. It's good. It's very good. It's good that, you, uh, that you're breathing and you're walking. I'm glad that you are. I'm blessed. Yes, that's very good. I appreciate that. So tell us a little bit about uh, Jason. Give me a short bio on Jason. Born and raised in Kansas City. Uh, joined the military when I was uh, 17. Okay. Uh, graduated from uh, UMKC. Okay. And uh, started my business about seven uh, years ago, public relations, and uh, uh, married, and, and life is good. Life is good. So you got family, right? I do. Kids? I do. I have a son. You have a son. Now, how yes. old is he? He's nine. He's nine years yes. old, and he resides here in Kansas City as well, yes. right? Right. So uh, what did you study at UMKC? Uh, sociology. Sociology. I same well, I got my degree in sociology and criminal Excellent. justice. Excellent. Yeah, Lincoln yeah. University. There you go. The started, right. started at Lincoln. Yeah, well, only the best finish. Well, I hear you. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> You're on the hill. Right. Yeah, good school though. Yeah. But yeah. good experience for the short right. time you right. were there. Right. Very much though. You can't. You always gonna pick up something at Lincoln if you go down there. Absolutely. So a little bit. Uh, tell us about who are you? Tell us about Jason. Your business. Give us a little bit of perspective on that. I own a communications firm, public relations. Okay. And, good. Uh, we're located here in the Lincoln Building. Okay. We do uh, PR, we do governmental affairs, a little political work, mm -hmm. uh, a little, little very, a varied background. Uh, my company, we're uh, fortunate to be able to delve into a, a number of arenas and, and do, do good work. Mm -hmm. What's some of your projects that you're working on now? Uh, working with the state of Missouri, working with the city of Kansas City, uh, Missouri, uh, on a number of projects. And um, those projects include East Patrol, one of the largest projects that's going on in the city, mm -hmm. and a few other smaller projects. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, typically, what types of projects do you like to work on? I mean, well, what's, what's, it, your, what's your anchor? Just like yeah. you got a supermarket uh, yeah. shopping, what's your anchor? Well, team? you know, we enjoy working with, the, with uh, the city. Obviously, that's where a lot of our work comes from. Mm -hmm. So anything communications related, uh, I like to mix it up so we're not doing the same type of projects day in and day out. So mm -hmm. it just varies. So uh, how old a guy are you? Uh, 39. 39. Okay, so you're a young guy that's out here trying to forge your way. Right? I am. You're a frontier. Frontiers. Uh, you know, so be it. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, that's, that's yeah, the fact because, yeah, you know, yeah. I had my day, okay? I understand. And no, and no regrets. I understand that yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, no chasers. <laughs> I had straight, I had took it straight and no chasers. No chasers. No chasers. Right. Now, let me ask you this where is the future headed for Kansas City, Missouri? You're a young guy, right. you're, you're, you're optimistic, you're full of energy. What, what do you, where do you see going? And more uh, so, prospectively, for young entrepreneurs like you who look like you, African American blacks? Well, I think there's a, uh, it's wide open. And it really comes down to um, the sky's the limit. I, I just think Kansas City has as many opportunities as any other major metropolitan city uh, around. I've traveled uh, East Coast, West Coast. And I think Kansas City is just as fine a place to start and grow a business as any other major city. And as far as being a, a person of color here in Kansas City growing a business, I don't see any hindrance. I think for me, the one thing that I've learned, uh, it's all about relationships. And if you have sound relationships and uh, obviously good mentors and, and do good work, to me that's the recipe for success. Very good. So you see no dividing line. You see, the only thing you see is green lights. Well, I mean, I'm not, you know, uh, going to sit here and say there aren't uh, any challenges that we face because mm -hmm. that, you know, that would be foolish. Mm -hmm. However, uh, I'm not going to let those challenges deter me from achieving my goal. That's good. I like that. Now, let me ask you this. What is your vision? What's your vision for, 
for your business in Kansas City. I mean, because what we don't realize is, is that the role that you play is part of the vision for the city. That's one thing I didn't realize, how insignificant my role was I, that I thought, but it was very significant, significant. So it's essential that we look at every little piece as being a vision for the big picture. Well, you know, when you say my vision for the city and role with the city, you know, I think, go ahead. And how you, how you fit in that? In that? I think my role is to uh, continue to try to open doors for others and, and be that connector. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm fortunate enough to know a little bit about what's going on in the inside and just a little bit about what's going on in the outside. Mm -hmm. And if I don't share that, then I do uh, a disservice to not only my community, but uh, to the city as a whole. And so I feel my responsibility is to be a connector because oftentimes that's what uh, is is one of the biggest challenges that we have is who to talk to and mm -hmm. and where to go for whether it's resources or um, whatever the case may be and I just think I've been fortunate enough just to understand just a little bit how that operates and so uh, I do think I'm tasked and I have a responsibility to share uh, what what I've learned and those that have uh, mentored me, uh, I think that I have a responsibility to mentor others. Uh, you know, we, uh, we uh, uh, Carlos and I, we're, we're, we're kind of new frontiersmen. Uh, we're, we're both in our 60s, and we've taken on this challenge of What's Up Kansas City and Cascade Media, and which is a new pathway. It's kind of out of a box. Nobody's really doing it like we do it. And we have challenges, but we're a little bit older, so we're looking at things a little bit different. But let me ask you a question, and this is something that's been, been that stays in my mind when it's talked to young. How important do you think uh, What's Up Kansas City could be for our community? And do you think it's something that's needed in our community as a form of communication like you were talking about, connector? Well, I think anytime you, you have different tools to um, either... Uh, share a message or, or communicate, you know, I think it's always important and effective. You know, I think just going the traditional route of, you know, reaching out maybe via uh, a newspaper or whatever the case may be, I think times are changing and I think we have to adapt accordingly. Uh, you know, will it, you know, reach every person out there? No, mm -hmm. but what I do think that is if we layer our communication approach, then we're okay. Layered meaning, you know, you still need the newspapers, you still need uh, radio. now the internet, radio, internet, and and the more uh, tools and and uh, ways that we can communicate to the community as a whole, I think it's better. You know, I think any I think part of our problem is uh, sometimes we feel as though. If there are uh, competing interests, it's a bad thing, and I'm, I'm not a belief of that. Why, why, why can't even if there was another company that wanted to come out and do exactly what you guys are doing? Yeah, we I would them. absolutely. Yeah, we want to see we, them. Absolutely, and I think, but but for me, I think that's uh, the problem that we have in our community. Right. We feel as though you know, if you start doing this. You know, it's it's a become territorial, right. and and we're the only folks that that really view it that way. Mm -hmm. uh, the better, uh, the the more competition, mm -hmm. I think, the better. And I don't even think competition is the right word, but if there are other means or you know to do things, then I, you know I think so be it. But uh, we have to stop thinking that it, it it can only be done one way. Well, you know, we uh, uh, call us now. We welcome another source to be out there because what we do is we take two baths a day and eat less food <laughs> and we don't sleep. So we right there, Johnny, on the spot. You got to you got to bring it up, you know, to catch up with us. You know, they say the the mother load creativity is the mother load of success. Absolutely. And I think I, I'm glad to see and interview you today because it's a new form of creativity what you're doing. Right. I think that's one of the the bad things that are happening in our community that we're not manifesting and developing creativity within ourselves. 
Right. So it's very important that we look at ourselves. Now, tell us, uh, tell the listeners, audience out there, a little closing piece about Jason and what would you encourage our city to, to do? This is this is your time. Right. Well, right now. I mean, just believe. Obviously, uh, I mean that sounds fairly elementary, uh, but I think we're at a place that uh, we can't lose hope. And whatever your dreams are, follow through it. And I guess my only thing is, if you're gonna dream, dream big, you know. And, and don't be discouraged if if you're not uh, where you want to be, but keep plowing ahead because. Uh, you know, that's the only way you're going to get there. Uh, to me, I've always looked at things, challenges with failure is not an option. Right. And so, uh, you know, but you got to have the courage to get out that's and right. take that risk or that chance uh, in order to get there. And, some, you know, sometimes we want to take the easy road uh, because there are less risks, but also there are less rewards. Right, right, uh, that's right. So, you know, I don't... I just think that we have to continue to work hard and believe, and we will get there. And work together. And work together. Right. There's no reason why we, we all can't work together. Like we're doing today. And how we're going to continue. That's right. To work together. After this, we, yeah, because we, I want you to put this What's Up Kansas City out there because this is a, this is our source. We right. control this message here. So true. Um, failure will never overcome you if your desire to succeed is strong enough. That's one of my uh, affirmations that I believe. Mm -hmm. Now, one more thing. I'm very concerned about our young people out there and give our young people, because we got a lot of young people to look at this site here. Mm -hmm. We got more young people than we do uh, older folks. You know, a lot of the hip hoppers, they out there, they stay on top of this What's Up mm -hmm. Kansas City because we got a lot of different venues. But part of our uh, plot is to send a message to our young folks. So give them a word out there, Jason. Uh, whether you know it or not, there are people that care about you. We love you. There are folks that would want to mentor you. But with that being the case, you got to want to help yourself. You know, and uh, I'm not one to believe that, you know, just give me, give me, give me. I would love to, to reach out and, and, and continue to help others. But... You know, I'm at a place that I believe you got to want to help yourself too. So, you know, young people that are out there, continue to believe in your dreams. And, and there are those that, that want to help you and see you succeed. Uh, and, and see you succeed in your own creative way. You know, I'm not going to tell you that, uh, you know, you got to change this or change that to be successful. Because, you know, I don't necessarily believe that. But uh, you, have to, you have to believe in yourself and don't give up. And it's not going to come easy. We live in a microwave society, and we think that everything happens in 15 seconds, and, and you want a new car, a new house, and you're going to take the shortcut to get there. I'll leave you with this. There are no shortcuts in life. You know what? Failure will never overtake you if your desire to succeed is strong enough. And you heard it best from Mr. Jason Parson right down here on 18th and Vine in our community in our own Lincoln building. Uh, years ago, I was taught this. To look sharp is to be sharp. And what's up, Kansas City? <laughs>